KSL News at Noon starts now. Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for being with us. I'm Cher Park. Today, we're focusing on cleaning Utah's air, clearing it out from the small changes you can make at home to a big way the Utah Transit Authority is joining in on that effort. Hey, everybody. I'm Dan Spindle. No ticket required for a ride on UTA buses and trains, tracks. Uh, not just for today. We're talking all month long. New specialist Tamara Vaifanua live at the Murray Station with Free Fair February. Hi, Dan and Shara. Good afternoon. And this is a first for UTA to offer free fares all month long. Salt Lake City leaders said they worked with private donors to cover the $1.3 million cost. But if one Utah lawmaker has his way, free fares would be applied all the time. UTA is offering free fares every day in February on bus, front runner, or tracks, as well as on demand services and the ski bus. With the inversion temporarily moved out, I saw a lot of people on the bus this morning. Salt Lake City Mayor Aaron Mendenhall jumped on the tracks near Rice Eccles Stadium to lead the charge. I encourage people to take that plunge if they haven't done it before. Mayor Mendenhall says ditching the car helps clear the air. The single biggest contributor to our air pollution is the cars that we drive. 42% here in Salt Lake County. Saves you money and time. When you're sitting on that bus, it's relaxing. You can catch up on work and email. You can just listen to a podcast. UTA ridership has gone down. In February, an average of 160,000 people ride UTA. In February of last year, it was closer to 70,000. Representative Joel Briscoe is proposing a bill to make free fares permanent. He argues that more people riding public transit takes more cars off the road and reduces greenhouse gas emissions. As the fastest growing population in this country, how people move affects our quality of life. Now, there are some who are put off by public transit. They say, you know, they, they want more convenient bus routes. It's too cumbersome. The process is a little too difficult to figure out. But UTA says they try to make the process a little bit smoother on their website as well as their app. But they do encourage people to give it some free practice for the month of February. For KSL News at noon, I'm Tamara Vaifanua. 